legends, I hope you're all amazing. We're gonna be checking out the new pedal from Poly Effects today. It is called Verbs and it is a stereo in, stereo out, convolution reverb player with analog dry through and a touch screen. There is MIDI in and out on this. You can load your own convolution reverb IRs in here. And there's some pretty cool functions like a low cut. There is a crescendo button on here, which essentially lets you create a nice reverb hold. And then there is the smush control on here, which we will hear in good time. Everything is arranged into different categories. So you've got a bunch of real spaces. Think of a convolution reverb IR as a way of sampling either a real physical spaces reverberations or a hardware reverb devices reverberations. You've got things like plate echoes in here. So they've got samples of the classic EMT 140s, some Lexicon and Brickaster units. There are several classic spring reverbs that have been sampled and some really cool, weird experimental stuff. You can also load in your own reverb IRs in here. The fact this has analog dry through means it's not gonna mess with your core guitar tone either. And the sliders on here are really responsive and really easy to use as you can see. So let's start out by hearing some sounds on here. The far right foot switch activates or deactivates the effect. There are reverb trails on here as well, or spillover if you like to call it that. And if you hold down this A button, you get the crescendo effect. So let's start out with the very first reverb. I'm just gonna play through here and I will put up the names of the reverbs. It does come with a really cool little booklet that describes all the spaces on here. PRS SE DGT going into the JTM45 model of my Axe FX3. I'm on the split neck pickup, let's go. Thank you. 
that's just a small sample of the available sounds in here. There are the six banks which are selectable and you've got eight presets per bank, so 48 different reverbs in there. You could hear that smoosh control is pretty subtle on there, but it can take some of those weirder experimental reverbs and really kind of push them in a more granular direction, or it can kind of act as like a little bit of an extra echo in there if you want a delay and a reverb effect. The hold function on there, or crescendo as it's known on there, again, uh, that works better when the pedal's actually sitting on the floor there, trying to play one-handed and press the button. I didn't think this one out too well. I might play you all out with an example where I can put this on the floor though. And then you've got an entire bank of user presets in here, and there's loads of really good free reverb IRs out there. There's the Samplicity reverb pack if you want some more Bracasti sounds. There's more weird reverbs. I've done a video with those on the channel that I will link at the end of the video if you want to check those ones out. And basically, you can play around with capturing your own reverb IRs. Uh, one simple way to do it is just like walk into a space, be recording in stereo with even like one of those cheap kind of Zoom handheld recorders and pop a balloon or clap really loudly. And that is often enough to get the reverb sample in there. You can import it into your DAW, trim it, and you're pretty much good to go. You can get some really interesting experimental sounds, or you can use this to just carry your favorite reverb tones around. And it is a pretty novel approach to reverbs because reverb is one of those effects that if you're not really experienced with using it in the studio, a lot of the time it's one of those effects where like too little is no good and then it's way too easy to have too much on here. Just being able to kind of go through, glide through the different banks on here and select, oh, I don't know, what does number five do or number six do over here? Listen to it and then react by using the sliders on there. It's a very tactile way of doing things on here. When Lockie at PolyFX first told me about this, I thought he was just going to take the convolution reverbs that you can get in Bebo, slap them into a box and just have analog drive through and you would just literally scroll through them. And I should have mentioned as well, you would have seen in there if you hold down this B foot switch, you can scroll through presets. But I like the additions on here, much like the Josh Smith Flat 5, the touchscreen interface is really tactile, it's really easy to use and it's really responsive. It's not your typical kind of like you know, phone style thing on there, being able to see the LEDs under them, being able to like see pictures and push them really appeals to me in there. The smoosh, the pre-delay, the low cut function in there are welcome additions if you do want to tweak the tone of the reverb and having that effect here where you can hold down the A button, which I am getting to, and being able to hold the reverbs and kind of create cool ethereal pads is a really welcome addition. I don't think they had to do any of those things to make this work. If they just made a convolution reverb player and added analog dry through, a lot of people would have been stoked with it. But the fact you've got all those extra functions and of course MIDI on there makes it such a cool thing to me. Like they didn't have to do this stuff, but they went the extra mile. And that's one thing that I really admire about PolyFX. The fact that they're made here in Australia is super cool as well. I love demoing and promoting Australian gear. So I'll put a link to this in the video description. Thank you to Lockie at PolyFX for getting me one of these. It was a little bit of a saga with Australia Post. I didn't have as much time with this before the launch as I would have liked, but you can't control those things in life. What you can control on here is the hold function. It's gonna put this on the floor. I'll play you all out with some more kind of improvised reverb madness. And I would love to know your thoughts on Verbs by Polly. Is this something you've been waiting for? Do you just wanna put your favorite reverb IRs in here and go and add it to your pedal board? Or do you really like that they've added these features to really turn it into a super cool creative effects pedal. Let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you all next time. Cheers.